Hello there and welcome to another Genshin Impact Theory video. This time I wanted to talk about where Alakino would stand on the Dungeons and Dragons alignment chart. Well, not really, but it was the best analogy towards asking if she is good or evil. By the way, if you do end up enjoying the video, why not leave a like, comment, or subscribe? So, Alakino, Father, the Fourth Harbinger, someone who can rival the very gods of Teyvat. Does she pet puppies, or does she do unspeakably horribly things to them? Well, with all the hints that we have been given around, together with the fact that we still don't have a truly evil playable character, I do believe that she is indeed a good aligned character, but will most likely follow mainly her and the House of Hearts goals rather than be fully dedicated to the Tsaritsa. Of course, this is all recorded before the voice lines, so maybe the voice lines will reveal more. Before we even saw her, all we knew is how crazy the other in-game Harbingers made her seem. We weren't sure what that meant, but I do believe we might do now. Initially, I thought it was because of her own personal goals being put above those of the Teresa, but now with the latest cinematic, it is almost guaranteed that her being called crazy is because she defeated the previous knave. Alakino was supposed to become the king of the house, but I think she even surprised the previous knave when she attacked with such force as, well, we saw in the cinematic proper. The knave's death at the hand of a teenager most likely brought this craziest character description, as we do see that Piero calls her cursed and crazy when crowning her as the new knave. And also, I believe he did say that the Tsarita also gave that description too. There are a couple points you could make against her being good, so let's go through them. Alakino's a harbinger. This is circumstantial. Child is one too, but we know that he did it in order to protect and provide for his family, even, and even though he loves fighting, he never goes over, overboard like the other harbingers. Arlequino, on the other hand, was uh, an orphan. She was taken in by the house, by the old house of heart, with the old knave and everything, and was raised to be, well, a Fatui. Alakino is cold, it doesn't seem to care about much. Here, I gotta thank the comment section of the cinematic for the answer, as they have pointed out that Mother, the previous knave, was sweet and kind at the surface, but in reality she was truly evil and twisted. While, on the other hand, Arlequino wanted to put this up this facade of uncaring and unfeeling, while in reality she truly cares about every one of the orphans as they were her own. So she truly cares about the ones that live in the house of Hearth, unlike the previous name. Alekino tried to kill Farina. Well, this one is bad, but to be fair, it was a mission given to take the Gnosis at any cost. The thing that kinda saves it though is the fact that once she realized Farina might be cursed, and that she isn't the Archon, she left her alone. I think that if this was Dottori who had this mission, uh, Farina would have been long gone. Then there's the unfortunate reality of running an orphanage that is creating Fatui agents. Another point I can't really protect against other than saying that at the very least she gives them a home and the feeling of a family. Like an actual family. We do see that Linny, Lynette and Fermanet think of each other as a proper family and not just some people who ended up working together. They're not just teammates or work buddies, they, they treat each other like a proper full family. Then the last thing I want to bring up is the teaser where she took care not only of the agent that was heavily injured but also took down and literally stepped on Tartuffe who was masquerading as a good person. And as Arlequino said, those who parade their virtues often do the most evil, and we are not like them. This way of thinking could be from being a Fatui and believing that what they do is right, while in reality it's still a bad, but I really don't think so. So yeah, a lot of these portray Arlequino as the good on the inside, but on the outside she seems tough kind of parental figure. Of course, the fact that she is with the Fatui does place her in the villain's camp, but personally I believe that she is indeed a good person that wants to take care of her children. Of course, it could all end up being a ruse, and in the story for 4.6 we see her take on the same steps as the previous knave and pit the trio against each other, as we don't have much info about the story quest. But I don't know about that. 
There's no way Hoyo would ever do that kind of thing just to play with our feelings, right? Right? Eh, we'll see if this current mask that we kind of know about all the Kino is going to be the final one, or if there's something beneath that. Either way, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.